Since day one, we've been following the story of a deadly Christmas Eve shooting that happened right outside of a Diablo's Tacos truck in downtown Appleton. And now we know more details. I'm Darby McCarthy, talking to a man who was working in the truck when a fight turned into a deadly shooting. I think nobody believed what was happening. Everybody was in shock. We now know the identity of the 22-year-old who was shot. Police say his name was Elijah Dodson from Milwaukee. In the early hours of Sunday morning, Diablo's taco truck worker Manuel Almanza was one of the last to see Dodson alive. I was preparing a snack and my co-workers were reeling and suddenly we hear noises. So we went to the window and uh, the first time we hear people yelling. You know? So we went to check what happened and people was fighting. Did you hear what they were arguing about? Oh no, they were, they were like five, six guys. Almanza said he had turned around to help prepare food since it was very busy after the bars closed. My co-workers, the, the grillers, they, they get the back to the window. I am the only guy uh, facing everything. But in that moment, I was doing a snack on the corner of the truck. While Amansa and his co-workers scrambled to complete about 15 orders at one time, suddenly the fight got worse. The second time when we heard a uh, noise, this time were two gunshots. So when we saw in the window what happened, uh, we, see, we saw this bad situation. Almanza says neither the shooter nor Dodson had ordered food from the truck, but he struggles to make sense of the whole thing. We feel as bad for that guy. I mean, nobody, nobody deserves that. I've talked to many people while covering this tragedy, and all of them have the same thing to say. This is a horrible anomaly. Almanza says the truck is expected to be in the same spot downtown for New Year's Eve, and he hopes people won't be afraid to go out after the deadly shooting. In Appleton, Darby McCarthy, NBC 26.